Welcome to the ninth podcast. In today's podcast, we are continuing the challenge. It's day three. And I promise to talk about the meditation practices and some more stuff that would help you a lot. To meditate daily, it's mandatory these days. Simply because you have to heal your brain. You can meditate in a different places with different environments around you different setups and different simply the position of your brain would be different also the position of your brain and your clarity in the moment would be completely different from anything else around you and like there is a quote I would like to be a warrior in a garden rather than a gardener in a war what that means that means if even you are in a bad place in a place from which it will be impossible to meditate or even to feel good I've been in those kind of places you cannot even survive what matters <laughs> if you're gonna meditate but you have to fight and exactly this quote stands behind that because if, if you have strong mentality, strong enough, doesn't matter where you are, at what position you are, at what place in your life you are. Because there are mandatory things that will change it. We are living based on our experience. Our past experiences. And for most of the people, it's really difficult to make new experiences, to see new things. Every time I've been talking about that, but every time when I went to, when I go to a restaurant or some place, I eat different things. And all the time I'm hearing comments like, "Why do we eat all the time new things? You were, you are not even finishing them." Oh, they are awful and you're just putting them aside. Yes, but I'm gaining more knowledge and more experience through that. Next time, I'll know. Tomorrow, if I see something related to this dish or with a same thing in it, like uh, the flavor or whatever, it will bring even more knowledge. What about the person that eats the same thing? You will always live in this past present. Exactly that, past present. So, we are living our lives through our past experiences. That means that if we are feeling pain our whole life, we're going to feel pain to the end of our lives and yes mentally we are stuck in there and in the pants but if 20 years of your life are full with struggle and pain without changing your daily life you will always live in that struggle and pain and your brain have that thing to not change anything. He wants to be in this place comfortable right now. I'm not telling you to go outside of your comfort zone. Because based on my opinion and experience, the happiness is in the comfort zone. Yes, I said it. 
at least my happiness. Yes, I was happy outside of my comfort zone, but never happy enough. I was always reaching to become more happy, always stressing out for uncertain things. And yes, I was solving them, but is it worth it to put my happiness on a scale? And on the other side, something that does not depend on me. Is that matter? So, your train, your brain will always trick you. He's made like that. Your job is to somehow rearrange it and make it focus on certain things that will change everything. And the daily meditation practices will give you exactly that. Not only meditation, but visualization, affirmation, repeating things. I had videos which you can check in the channel. Certain one video in which I'm talking about repetition exactly. Because imagine you have negative thought. In your whole life you are have a, you already had that thought many times in your life. Like thousand. And it's become by default every single day. What that means? That means now you want a positive thought at least let's say 10, 15, 20 times even more just to <laughs> just to you know replace that negative thought for today tomorrow you have to do the same and also the negative thoughts are all around you so you not only have to be the warrior of the warriors, but you have to be the warrior of the warriors daily. And with the time you have to do the change by yourself, to change the environment, change the little things, but you have to start from within. Of course it could help you just to move out and to go somewhere to be alone but to be alone outside is nothing compared to being alone inside so make the choices wisely make them step by step and be sure to have that positive outcome every single time. This is so crucial. You have to have positive, positive experiences, positive outcome. Because you are tired. If you are like me, you are effing tired. Because you are only on the losing side. Of course, I have that power in me to overcome that and that's why I collected so many failures because I have the power to overcome them. But I'm not giving you a recommendation to do that. And simply start from the beginning as soon as possible with the success, with the good outcome with the fortune you have to build your own fortune that's it and until now if you had only negative experiences you were building the unfortunate or the people around you built, built your own unfortunate can you imagine 
so you have to build your own fortune this time to protect it to leave it to make you happy and to has to be an all cost if you want to matter if you want to do something in this life that matters and if you want to achieve the real meaning and I'm not talking about outside things so the meditation practices that I use I'm making my brain rest every, every day I'm sleeping kind of on noon or an uh, hour or two after that 12, 1, to 3 o'clock I'm sleeping for an hour or two and when I fall asleep, when I wake up it's not like I've been asleep it's like I've been unconscious because I work And when you wake up, you have, you are some kind of like restarted. And you have that power again and everything. Also, those kind of power are bringing when you're working out, when you're reading and so on and so on. We're going to talk about that. But today we're talking about how to simply charge your brain, how to restart it, how to make it work efficiently, more efficiently, more healthier value. So I recommend you to do that. Also when you're doing the meditation, let's say you want to meditate 10 minutes today, do two sets. The first set, from my experience, you have to, even not for 10 minutes, but at least for some. And not every time before starting the meditation, you have to do that as well. Simply meditate with open eyes. Because what means to meditate? Meditate means to feel your presence. To feel that you are here. You are actually existing and not simply living by default. How you gonna achieve that? Through feeling your whole body. Through experiencing your existence. So, only that way, when you realize actually that you are a conscious being, then you are ready to dive in, to close your eyes, and to reach a point in which you were never been before. There are more deep analysis if you want to write down a comment down below. And I'm gonna talk deeply in my experiences. But I've been reaching things that you cannot reach. If you are not given enough and if you are not enough some people will say that it's crazy things for me they are mandatory things you have to achieve those kind of places to reach them so you can simply start knowing yourself i'm not saying to know that you're gonna learn who you are i'm telling starting to know yourself i'm saying so those are the practices about the meditation do it with open eyes first always just feel your presence also use mantras there are some certain mantras that are doing certain things so be careful find your own mantras take your time to find the mantras that are in good use for you 
also you can listen to them without even meditating simply like that and it's crucial they're gonna help you a lot also have that positive mindset all the time if you have a bad thought make 10 more good one good ones just make it without a hesitation it will change your life for good for the better so the positive affirmation simply if you would like every morning every night and even through the day but when your brain is clear it's best so just write down some positive affirmations listen to positive affirmations of course act on it don't ever just simply listen and you know expect something to happen but you're gonna see the changes at least you're gonna feel better and when this feeling came simply do something do something i'm gonna talk about the goals daily goals uh, writing down everything every day that you have to do to keep yourself motivated and to have that successful outcome but simply when you feel good good and you want to do something do it in the second that you feel that feeling this will bring not only the positive feeling but the positive outcome as well and don't stress too much i know everybody was have problems but by stressing everything else will crush will crumble so positive affirmation positive thoughts everything positive just simply decide and make the change step by step and turn all over turn everything over in 180 degrees every time when you feel bad make something to feel good start feeling good the mantras the meditations the affirmations also when you're breathing there are many exercises you can you probably use the Wim Hof method simply focus focus that's it focus and you're gonna find out more than anybody else because people nowadays they don't know how to be focused so only by focusing and just by focusing can you imagine just by focusing on a certain thing you're gonna be better than 99% of the people immediately and what will happen if you're better than 99% of the people for a long period of time you're gonna become one and it will gonna become just your own personality and if you're feeling good enough by yourself you're gonna decide that this is who you are now and the past experiences will they were left in the past you're gonna live gonna start living by the new experiences the new experiences the forbidden land the promised land so reach that point and start living there thank you for your time and see you tomorrow